far too short for the thing, so we're going to do this. Anyway, I'm incredibly honored and excited to be here. This is something that it's so many people that I really respect and am inspired by have been presenters in the past. So anyway, here's a little bit about me, things I do, the passions, uh, like Redux Contemporary Art Center, things I, I love a lot. Um, here are my parents. It's my mom and my father. And obviously, I'm very much their daughter. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so as Jenny said, my mom gave me a love of the arts and my father of ways to potentially kill myself. It's something that we do. It's how we bond, I guess. So there's my mom. This was all uh, our, Chris or our family vacation back in July to celebrate her 60th birthday. And I can't even believe that she's 60. She looks awesome. Our dog. <laughs> OK, so Pennsylvania, I have this whole other life up there where I go motorcycle riding with my little brother. Those aren't our chickens, but I really wish that they were. Um, I learned how to build a rocket stove at that place, and that was my dad. So any given day in the art mag office, I'm going to walk into something like this where Olivia matches her walls, or Jason Baxley being photographed in a clown costume, or Johnny Battles coming to visit and playing with Mika. So back in 2010, Michael Trent's song Bad Luck had just come out, and I was totally obsessed. And I came to Olivia one day and I said, hey, you know, let's write about them. She said, that's a great idea, let's do it. I was like, that's too easy, really? And that got me very excited about the creativity uh, that I was able to do and, and create with the magazine. Here's Scarlett Poppy, Jen Bryan. She's actually here somewhere tonight. And I jokingly call her my crack dealer, her crack dealer because her jewelry is like crack. I cannot stop myself from overspending every time I see her. But the really fun thing for me was that this article actually resulted in a great commission for her. And that was like the first one that um, something I had done came from a sale. I live for Spoleto Festival. It is one of my favorite times of year. It's always insane and super busy. Jake Shimabukuro, the ukulele guy, he's coming back. Um, he's going to be playing at the PAC on March 1st. He was amazing. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's such a fantastic time for me with a performing arts background. I really enjoy this. And I highly suggest that you enjoy Spoleto scene and join us next year. So I love champagne. That's pretty common knowledge. I love the Belmont, where I met Joey Ryan and then Josh Walker. So anyway. I'm really proud of those guys because a lot of hard work has brought them to uh, their brick and mortar space over at Rutledge and Spring, which is quite dangerous on my way home. One of the great perks of my job is that we get to do media walkthroughs and hard hat tours of spaces before they even open up, and we did that with stars. And Nate Thurston, I think, is an amazing chef. I'm a notoriously picky eater, and I'll eat just about anything he makes including that lobster, which Kip and I totally ate at the end of the photo shoot that we did for this, uh, this issue, or this spread. Sarah Boyd's Yoder. I'd heard her name, and I'd seen her work, but when Josh Silverman featured her at Jericho Advisors, I really fell in love with her work. And getting to interview her was one of the best experiences ever. She was just incredible and intelligent and inspiring, and it's very few people that can like out art me, but she does, and I love her for it. So again, I love champagne, but I also love brunch, which leads to Bloody Mary's. Charleston's Mix, or Charleston Mix by Ryan Elliott-Terry, I think is a fantastic product and such a great representative of the amazing things that people in this city are doing. That's a picture of us from like Charleston Affair, 2006 maybe? I'm very proud of uh, my fellow alum who have come so far. Speaking of brunch, <laughs> uh, we love brunch. And honestly, it's any opportunity to, will one, be included in an ad campaign by obviously marketing that was award winning. Cheers to Jenny and all of Lee and that team. But the opportunity to just kind of kick back with your friends and enjoy and relax life, that's priceless. Um, I have to admit that when I go, anywhere else. Pretty much the only thing I want to do is find more art. Um, and so in all my travels, DC and Washington, Savannah, it's kind of my focus. Um, 
Staying inspired also is really helpful with your best friends, like Matt, <laughs> and amazing places like the Halsey Institute, which I also am a huge fan of. Again, staying inspired and staying motivated because this lifestyle is like obscenely, ridiculously crazy, hectic, busy. Um, it's, I, I'm, it's, these people keep me grounded and they mean the world to me. <laughs> there are also a lot of perks in my job. Anytime that Sean Husk is gonna bring you a burger, you say yes. The Charleston Jazz Orchestra in that bottom right picture, the, the tribute to Jack McCray, was an amazing experience that I got to be part of and I love every moment of that. <laughs> oh yeah, more perks. The Roaming Gnome. The Roaming Gnome, y'all, I was so excited. Um, from the Charleston Wine and Food Festival. And amazing people that I get to interact with, like Nathan Durfee or Tim Hussey, which actually the first show that I worked on as a student at the Halsey was for him, like 2003, it was fantastic. So here's a little sneak preview of our cover. This will arrive on Friday. And I highly encourage you to come visit our website. And this magazine is about Charleston. It's a celebration of Charleston. And I have, um, <laughs> anytime that you wanna see something else, something new, fresh in the magazine, I encourage you to send it on over. So thank you so much. Again, I'm totally honored to be part of this. And y'all have a great night.